All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Hunter Hunter. 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 Episode 71. 71. Oh. Getting into the final bit of the match with the Razor. Yes, and Gon has come up with a crazy plan. <laughs> and Killua is like, of course you would come up with a plan like this. And exactly. Ahsoka's like, oh, this yes. will be interesting. This will be good. Yeah. And, uh... It's just the the three of them against mm -hmm. Razor now. Yeah. So it's almost like getting looking... feelings of nostalgia here for back when like there were less like characters. <laughs> but but seriously though, I, I think they're gonna do. I think they're gonna be able to do this. I think so. And he's a game developer, like game right. master guy. Yeah. So yeah, this could be a little bit crazy. Right. And and it's it's weird because I'm expecting the hunter hunter sort of like switcheroo right right where yeah, everything is not as exceed as it seems a misdirect mm -hmm. right but because they haven't actually told us what the plan is that's making me think yeah. the plan's gonna work so oh i have no idea what the plan is gonna be but i am excited for the uh application of bungee gum whatever it yes. is going to be there yeah. is going to be some fun ways of it and we came up with our theories in the last episode's discussion so let's just yes. see which one of us ended up being right or both wrong so let's uh let's just watch it and find out all right guys we're gonna start the episode in five four Three, two, one, now. <laughs> of the way he bounces the uh -huh. ball, you can like feel how strong he is. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, he's consolidating his strength. Yeah. Yeah. It's going all out for this. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I'm surprised. Ahsoka, Ahsoka even sounded a little bit like excited too, uh -huh. but also but his in his face the, wasn't. His like, face was not right. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of surprised that Hisoka didn't get like one of his one of his like grins on right. his face there. <laughs> he actually seemed very serious. Probably because he can't mess around. Just try again. again. Da, 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 da. You just, just go. Fly away, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always forget the <laughs> order, too. <laughs> Wait a minute. If... If Razor is a game master, uh -huh. is the girl in the computer room a game master too? Uh, that is an excellent question. Because there are no, uh, there are no NPCs. Because they're all well, yeah, they're just all cards. I mean, well, right. Well, in, right? Is she also a card? Right. Or, is she a card or is she a right? Someone pulled in from the real world. Right. Or, Who knows? Just a random thought I had. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's good. Yeah, because they have to retake it and then knock them out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> He's serving it. Yep. He's serving it in a, uh -huh. like in volleyball. Yeah. Oh my god. What he used to destroy the boat. Yep. Yep. Wow. Okay. What? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! Yeah. Wow. Oh my okay. gosh. <laughs> All right. Wow. Awesome. A super volleyball receive, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of waves. waves. Like, yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Right. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Okay, sure. Kept gone from... Oh, yeah, so he got the most of the... Uh, wow. The, okay. Uh, the pressure. Yeah, he would have snapped in half. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay. That's... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Holy right. crap. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, there's where the basics came into play. Yeah. Whoa. Jeez. Okay. He's already 10 years or more ahead of her. Yeah. Like 15 years or ahead of her. Yeah. So this right. is where so bungee gum gets used. <laughs> <laughs> this music, though, is so high. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Is it because now he knows how much it's going to hurt Kill was, so that's offering him, like additional resolve basically to do it perfectly he's a monster oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> yeah i knew jing had to be strong because holy oh, yeah. crap gone is scary <sighs> you better <laughs> <laughs> okay all right Ho oh, ho! Killa's hands must be just toasted. So what's Hisoka doing? That's this. That's the thing I'm curious about right, right here. Yeah. Is he gonna re is he gonna direct it up? Is he gonna alter its direction a little bit? He's gonna try and send it right. Wait. Oh shoot! But they could just. If they dodge, then he's out. Because it's a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um. He collapsed. Oh. He put everything that he had into it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. What? No way. Oh! oh! What? <laughs> Interesting. <gasps> he yeah. changed the property nice. of the aura. <laughs> <laughs> so it knocked him out of bounds? Yep. Yep. 
Nice. Very cool. Well done. Awesome. Hey, Ahsoka's fingers looked like yeah. a bunch of them broke right there. Wow. <laughs> and he stole all the glory. Oh, how how kind of you, Hisoka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Yeah. Of, of course, then cut. <laughs> Look at the ball, though. Uh huh. Well, of course. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. Awesome. Okay. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Wow. That's crazy. There's yeah. a lot of parallels to Gone and Killua in that regard as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Whew. Oh, maybe that's why he's named Razor. Killing people, you know. Mm. Oh. <laughs> huh. Yeah. That's legit. That is awesome. What a proper, proper, proper send off. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know whether to call it an ending or a send off, but it was perfect. Oh, what? Okay. Awesome. What? Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Kind of looks like a card. Oh, ha! I was <laughs> gonna say, 
I was gonna say, it looks like a yeah. card, you know? And Ahsoka's just kind of piecing out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. What? Ah! Yeah! He shouldn't... Right, he shouldn't <laughs> have known about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That <laughs> was like, mm, but oh, getting through. Yep. Yep. Of course. Yeah. No. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, he, he should know with the, the cards in particular. Oh, he got to, oh, yeah. Them. Jeez. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That was brash. <laughs> Three kids. Uh -huh. Bisky's like, uh, yeah, can you just shut up? Like, yeah. God. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, of course, because kids are... Exactly. Yeah. Because this is gonna, is the real... Uh... Single star hunter? Okay. That's a new concept. Right. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Quite so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Sesgara knows to not talk about the rest of them, but specifically focusing on what would have happened to Killua. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Keep them separate. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, for the cards. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. sure. Ah, but I can't. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. All right. Let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Don't mess around. Yeah. Awesome. One on one. Okay. All right. Ooh, wah, <laughs> All right, cool. I really liked what they did with Razor. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> it all looks so happy and stuff here yeah. now that i want to see like it's probably a new it's probably a new character that will that looks like machi but with like her hair not all like everywhere nah like, But dang, Gon used a lot of uh, yes. a lot of aura there in particular. He did, and I love that they had him pass out. Yeah, because that's totally that's totally like him to just use up everything he has. <laughs> Great Island tutorial. I'm gonna say what Patch of Shore does. Clone. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. Huh. 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 Ah, satisfying conclusion to the whole razor. Yes. The whole razor deal. Yes. I love that they had him for the last one actually, you know, do a volleyball type serve. And oh, yeah. Throw back to, you know, so that we know, like, for reference, how crazy it is exactly that Gone and Kill and Ahsoka stopped it, you know. Right, right. In particular, they went into this very different style of things that I don't think they've shown really as much um, in Hunter x Hunter thus far. 
where they basically stopped time and had Razor explain to us how crazy right. it was that they actually did what they did. Yeah, because, like, <laughs> you can tell that that's one of those things where, like, the, the mangaka really, really spent some time thinking, like, okay, what would be the best way that three people could possibly catch something that's coming at them way too fast? Way too fast, yeah. And, and in particular, it shows kind of how the manga is uh, written, in a way, because there's probably a lot of speech bubbles and you know text bubbles sure. and stuff like that, and and that's that's cool and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, in particular, in Hunter Hunter, there's a lot of tell, you know, a lot of a yes. lot of exposition. Yeah, because there's stuff a lot like of that. rules to the systems. Yeah, right. In particular, but one of the things I was kind of surprised by was they uh, didn't really use a lot of the technical terms like gone uh, utilizing uh, co in his yes. Uh, in his fist in particular they just said he put all of his aura in right. his fist mm -hmm. i was like huh so it, it it's one of those things that i'm i'm curious about uh why they come up with the terms when they they're not going to use, use them. them in like every app app applicable uh sense. instance yeah instance there no yeah I, um, I know what you mean um i think if i'm distributing the percentages evenly across his body right i believe that was um shoot i don't remember it was like yeah. 10 i think yeah because it's there's this 10 which is basically just uh -huh. you know defense but i think i think ken is the one where you distribute percentages and stuff but anyways okay. but, um but yeah i think it might have just been because they were doing a lot of explaining already so they wanted to just use basic terminology as much as much as possible sure but uh, i ah, razor's character yeah, having oh, that, that bit was, where that was they great. threw in a little bit of development for him mm -hmm. right at the end yep basically makes me sad because i think I think that based on them doing that, Razor's out of the story. Like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. right when he was getting pretty mm -hmm. interesting too. So, yeah. it's a bummer. But Jing now is way more interesting. Because, yes, yes. Um, because it's not just that he's powerful or whatever. Well, we know that he's strong in that he's the kind of person who carries a reputation. So he's a very accomplished. He's a he's a very accomplished hunter. Yeah, yeah. But. It's also that he, uh, in the same way as that Gon is, as Razor put it, a monster, mm -hmm. and as Bisky put it, like, uh, a, a gem, essentially. Right. Uh, it, it, they, they have, a, he has a lot of power, a lot of potential, a lot of mm -hmm. aura, a lot of just, whoa. Yes. But uh, Jing is the... Is is the one that gone came from? Right. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. just like oh that's that's something to think about. It's like they keep building up Jing yes. by Gon's growth, which right. is kind of clever. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's something that I think they did a lot in something like Full Metal Alchemist um, uh, Brotherhood, and in a couple other shows in particular. But this does it probably the best with right. regards to that by having the development of the main character infer the uh build up right. for the father of said mc right because they're letting it happen over such a long period of time in a lot of ways it's kind of like what they did with the hunter exam oh by sure having it take a long time to just get to the point where they're actually starting the hunter you know right. really starting the hunter exam <laughs> yeah um did a, a ton Definitely. to build up hunters which then in turn did a ton to build up ned so oh, true very true um uh, it's it's this constant build up for stuff that's happening you know because then of course it goes from nen to you know uh Jing hatsu. And, and hatsu and yeah, yeah wing and the phantom troop and, mm -hmm. and all of them so it's it's really cool how they do that but with all of that mm -hmm. the fact that they made it so that the way they built up jing was not just with he's powerful yeah but the idea of you know that words can change somebody's life yeah and all you need is one person yep that to, believes in that you. Trusts in you. Yeah, believes trusts in you. you. Yeah. And they can they can they can save you, essentially. Yeah. And one that of the things awesome. one of the things that, that I, I kind of get the vibe from there is that that's what Gon has done for Killua. Yes. Yeah. Good, is that, good job pointing that, that out. That was the parallel that I saw there. Oh, is that yeah. Gon believes and not only that, it's not that he really believes in Killua, it's that he just trusts Killua. Right. And yeah. Killua being like, Wow, this kid just trusts mm -hmm. me. And the yeah. friendship that they've had uh, kind of grow over the, the time spent together, all the adventures and everything that they've gone mm -hmm. through uh, together. Right. 
has really forged this bond that's so special. Yes. And yet, this is something that I don't think, this just kind of leads back that I don't think Gon realizes that Killa believes that right. Gon saved him. Because, yeah, because for Gon, he probably, trusting Killa, he didn't think much of, of it at all. Of course. He's like, it's yeah, just of course like, I trust Killa. Yeah, of course yeah. I trust Killa. You know, he probably trusted Killa not long after he met him, you know, yeah. <laughs> or, or immediately when he met him. And and that's something, and that, that was... Just the smallest thing for Gon, yep. but it was it, it was the world for Killua. Yeah, it's always the little things, right, yep. Jacob? It's, uh, I saw this thing that was absolutely amazing, where it's like, you know how people are always worried about going back in time and doing something small that changes the future? Sure. Well, what about doing something small now that changes the future? Right. And it's like, whoa! Yeah. Yep. It, it's, it really is the little things, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Hisoka's character being just... <laughs> Being just so Hisoka this episode by kind of like having the little smirk when he's like behind the two boys as they're catching and stuff, catching the ball and stuff like that. And I'm then glad they didn't focus too much on that. They didn't focus it, too much on that at all. Yeah. But then they had uh, him kind of get excited about like, well, I guess it's my turn. And then he uh -huh. catches the ball with his uh, bungee gum and sends it back so that it sticks to him so right. that he can't yep. rebound it off so the force mm -hmm. continues to drive him through. Yep. Yep. It's yep. those little things where I love when Hisoka gets clever, but also right. I love it when Hisoka kind of is just like, yeah, well, I did my thing, so I guess I'm out of here. And they're like, wait, you should team up with us. Nah, nah, this was fun. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Like, and he's like, you can use you can use one of these two cards, a, a company honor magnetic force or something like that. And then Kill was like, the hell? Like, yeah. How Wait does he minute. know about magnetic force? We never used that card. He's like, oh, I lied, but you didn't have any reason to lie. I know, I just lied. That's yeah. what I do. <laughs> it's fun. You know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Hisoka's character is like the perfect, like, chaotic neutral that borders borderlines into the evil every right. once in a while. Because he's just, he is such a trickster like he's a yeah. trickster to the core right yeah and it's just so entertaining to watch yeah and now that genthru is basically they they moved quickly into the yes we have patch of shore mm -hmm. awesome genthru is, officially genthru is now the the, the official threat yeah uh gone just straight up does a gone thing <laughs> like, <Right>. complete <laughs> idiot and just is like <laughs> hey <laughs> you you kill people you kill innocents nutty i'm the main character and i must stop you he physically restrains him and shuts him <laughs> she, up she like put her mouth around him throttled him around the neck and just yanked him back and i'm pretty sure <laughs> she started like making random background noises just la 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 no that was gone oh it's gone too. trying He's to like, speak rah, 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 rah. <laughs> 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 it's like no shut up information is power what's great though is that they could have been on the you know looking at the telescope here and they see this kid is like who are you like he's he says who are you through right. the communicator thing the contact uh -huh. thing but he's actually like looking through the telescope being like who what? the hell is this kid like, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then and then they see the little girl like grab him and in a like, choke hold yeah. and a choke hold and, like, rrr, rrr, and he's like well, this is an interesting kind of weird one-way Skype right. call. <laughs> I can't hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Um, in particular, though, they shifted things back again to some kind of training thing. Yes. So is this going to be the final thing where we'll get Bisky backstory now? Possibly. Because I've been waiting... Well for Bisky backstory for like forever. Well, here's here's what I think it might be. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a bit more of a gone Hatsu technique beyond just the basic enhancer stuff. Ooh, because, sure. Because yeah. before he started doing basic little emitter things and it looked almost like I think like a little like like almost like fire thingy or whatever. But when okay. he was when he was building up his aura and he was hitting the ball, it looked like fire. And that looks like some kind of emitter type technique. I agree. So maybe maybe now um, especially since uh, uh, Razor was an emitter, you know, now that Gon has fought an emitter and all that stuff, uh, Bisky's gonna be like, okay, now let's now let's train you up with some non-enhancer techniques. Oh, wait, to, like, wait, 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 wait. Your enhancer stuff. You know why that actually makes a lot of sense too? Is they need a way to counter Genther's abilities, and his abilities work through touch. Oh, he has never touched Gon that's Killa. That's true. If so he they learns, need to keep their distance. If he learns an emitter technique, he'd be yep. able to fight at a distance and not worry about sure. yeah. getting through, uh, you know, getting close, you know, touching him once right. he uh, gets yep. really close and to mm -hmm. use his rock attack. Right. Um, in particular, though, now that I think about it, one of the other things I've said I've been waiting for was 
gone and bisky like alone time. Uh, yes, and this because, is literally that as well, yep. to where they can get into not just the potential bisky backstory, mm -hmm. but the um, the gone and basically bisky being a pseudo mother figure kind of thing. Like Bisky sure. can get into understanding a little bit more of who Gon is for the benefit of us, the audience, uh, primarily. Okay. Yeah. But also because I think she is the kind of person who would ask Gon some, you know, some some of the deeper questions. Not necessarily a lot of them, uh, because she herself mm -hmm. is kind of a a loner right. in, in in of itself. The yeah. fact that she's like fifty something and she looks like that, uh -huh. she's got secrets. And she doesn't yes. necessarily want to share them with everyone. No. Yeah. I, I like how she was very, like, how she talked with Koa, and she's like, there are two types of wives. <laughs> yes. There's the ones that, you know, do it when there's something to be gained, and there's the ones that do it just for the heck of it. You and I are the former. Like right. you say, like, we're both liars, and we right. lie when there's something to be gained, you know? Right. And I think that that's, that's what we're going to get into in addition to Gon's sure. training, is we're going to get into what is it, what, what, why is Bisky lying about, yeah. like, like I mean, I mean, the obvious one is that fifty-year-old people don't, don't look, look like, like that. that. Yeah. So what? What is the reason? Right. Why? Why? Where is the deception? Why? The, mm -hmm. Why the deception? Um, what are some of the kind of internal things going on with Bisky? And then maybe what are some of the internal things going on with Gone? Because Killa uh, going sure. Killa going on a little bit of a healing arc in particular, and also uh potentially kind of a meditating side of things sure he can then think about a little bit more uh regarding some of his inner demons and stuff and overcoming them uh, and that could be kind of cool sure i've been waiting in particular for whenever um his brother illumi, illumi yeah. yeah whenever illumi gets back into the story how it is uh Kilwa going to respond well basically uh, right. whenever any of the zoldics come back into the how story is Kilwa going how is going to Kilwa going yeah. to respond because yep Yep. I feel like they have still some, especially Illumi, some kind of influence over right. him. Right. And that, yeah. yeah. But, but Kill has grown a lot, you know. Exactly. So, so, what, so what, will, what will have changed? Exactly. What, what will be different there? Yeah. Ooh. And then uh, do you feel like Genther the Bomber is, uh, like, is someone that Gon needs to be like actually really careful about because i think i think that he does yes, yes. i think that we might have been the fact that they've saved him up in the story for this long uh -huh. to be kind of the almost it seems the final, final boss, boss. Yeah. yeah he even has the two ads yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um he might be he might be more of a problem than we let on yes it's well because okay yeah. the main the main problem that we have in him is not about how much of a threat he posed that that wasn't our issue when he was first brought in it's just that right. we didn't care about him as a person right so that is actually what i would be most interested in Ooh, seeing getting into his character getting into his character sure i'm not sure whether they're going to do that or or to what extent they'll do that because so far his motivations are very simple to win the game to, to get all the money the game, and he's going to do whatever it takes to do that yeah yeah but i think that that aspect of it is actually quite um uh it is quite simple but it it, it it, yeah, they it could rounds do, him yeah, fully. They could do. They could do a lot with that. I. I just. I don't know. Yeah. Like whenever Gon's involved, I kind of wonder whether that will be enough to really bring out character development in others because Gon is a very simple person. <laughs> yeah. So a <laughs> lot of times, sometimes yeah. he asks questions, sometimes he just doesn't no. though, and no. and it's like, oh man. You 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 could have you could have asked an awesome question there and maybe gotten an awesome answer, but you probably right. won't. Like when he's training with Bisky. Mm -hmm. This could be that awesome opportunity to show off, you know, who Bisky is and get into her character and stuff. But he might but not. But it might him. not because Gon's just like, yeah, I'm going to focus on training. Okay, thanks, right. Bisky. Yeah, all right, cool, bye. For sure. Um, I I could see this also being a thing of where, uh, you know, Gon, Killa, and Bisky are all going to have to fight the bomber. And it's literally a three on three, three on three yeah. kind of thing. And Killa's the kind of person who would. Uh, seek to maybe f see if he can observe or gain any kind of information from mm -hmm. uh, Genthru, particularly for the sure. purpose of yep. uh, getting an advantage on him. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what uh, that would be, if yeah. anything. If any, if it, at, at least, at least, Killa and Genthru's abilities would be kind of at odds with each other. Sure. Because since Genthru, I do not believe, has ever touched Killa, that means that if he wanted to plant a bomb on Killa, 
you could also get electrocuted in the process. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the, the the big problem is whether or not um, the other two's uh, Hatsu techniques are going to be something that complement Genthru's in a way. Right. Because they could go along the lines of immobilization mm -hmm. or something that makes it easy for him yeah. to touch them. Because they they yeah. work together to trigger the bombs, it, look, it seems like. Or, or at least to disarm them or whatever. There was the whole thing with them touching their, fin their thumbs together. Um, yeah, I think that was more of them deciding to do everything together. That's not one of the conditions, I think. Oh, okay. No. Gotcha. Um, so... Yeah, we can go back and refresh ourselves on sure. Genthru's conditions in particular. But uh, the the main thing that I, I'm kind of curious about mm -hmm. is if they beat Genthru, mm -hmm. they've essentially won the game then, right? Uh, because right. they could get all the cards from Genthru if they don't uh -huh. kill him, right? Yeah, the only one I think they would still need is the is number 75, since Gon would have given that to Sesgara. So but... they would need to get that back, but... Hmm. That's a good yeah. question, though. Would, if they beat Genthru, which I'm almost mm -hmm. certain they will, right? What, um, what, what would be their next thing here? Would they want to? Would they care that much about winning that they would go and you know finish the game to get the remaining uh, cards? Or you know, maybe that's going to be Genthru's thing. Is that Genthru is the bomber? The thing about it is that he's not going to let them win. Oh, and if he, if he ends he, up blowing himself up. He blows up. himself up, yeah. Sure, that could be a way that they uh, add some interesting depth to his character to make it be more than just winning the game to, you know, more than just a simple desire to win the game. But it's like, no, it has to be me or nobody or something. Sure, I mean, yeah, if anything, that would just discourage them, I think, from going and spending all that time to grind out the rest of the cards that they sure. would have lost. Yeah. Stuff. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Overall, I I'm curious about what the training is specifically if it goes into the Hatsu stuff like you were theorizing, mm -hmm. because we I know totally what see it being we, emitter stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. If if Gon's rock paper scissors mm -hmm. technique gets developed more, right? I would particularly like to see him go into either paper or scissors, right? But uh, specifically with uh, <laughs> specifically with uh, the other techniques and having one of them be some kind of emitter uh thing mm -hmm. uh it, it might actually be interesting to find out uh if they went into training on either the emitter or the transmuter one because my theory is that bisky's a transmuter if she's like well i can train you on the emitter one but i'm not the best person for that because i'm not an emitter or something uh, sure like i can teach you the basis of it but you're gonna actually do better training with that on your own i'll teach you more of the transmuter side of things yeah okay um and he's gonna be like, "What? You're a transmuter?" And he's like, "Yes, yes. That's um, how I look like this." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have any other theories other Not than really. just me neither. Like, okay, I guess we're uh, moving we've... into the moving into the Gen through bomber right, exactly versus uh, yeah. gone kill a bisky squad. Right, and and if anything, that feels like it will be a very mechanically interesting fight. Because the whole deal with Razor was not a fight. It you know no, it, it wasn't. It like people could get very seriously hurt or even but killed no potentially. Was, no one was gonna die probably. Well, and more importantly, there were rules. Oh sure. How this, there's play. this there's no rules. Exactly. So Yeah, and also there's spell cards in play. So Oh right. right. That's where it's gonna get really crazy too. Yeah. Yeah, that could get just a bit um, ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah, that's actually why Genthru is a real problem. Is they sure. have ninety nine cards. They have 99 of the restricted cards, and then they have tons of spell cards. Right. Or so 98. 98. Right, because there's the 100th one, which is like, you have to have all the other cards or something like that, or wh however it works. Yeah, it's a good but they point. They, they actually the might point. have 97, and then the 100th card is the one that theoretically shows up when you have all other 99 cards. And then they need number 2 and number 75. Oh, right, right, right. So they would have 97 in total. Sure. Yeah. But either way, they're almost either, done. Yeah. And Gon actually has in his book the original Patch of Shore, which I mm. like as a cool mechanic thing is that they're like, oh, we'll use clone. But when they go reveal, you know, who has Patch of Shore, they see two copies of it, but they don't know which is which. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, well, it's obviously the uh, uh, Sesgara's, you know. <laughs> right. That, well, that they've had that there. And I think that's a, that's a fun thing in that Sesgara is basically going to lead them on a chase around 
until that time right. where and they can actually fight them. What I'm curious about is do the copies take on the properties like can can you play a copy as if it's the card that you've copied? No. I'm guessing that would be the case because otherwise like it's only good for like making people think that you have a card that you actually right. don't. Right. Right. I would say that's that's the main thing for it is that if people are trying to steal cards from you, you know, mm -hmm. you could make a really valuable card look like a uh Oh no, clone is specifically for copying cards. Right. So I think it's I th so you wouldn't change the look of a card originally. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't hmm. know. I guess we'll. But see. we don't know what Patch of Shore does. Yeah, in terms they have of all these. They have all these cards that are like oh, super rare and all that stuff, and it's like okay, what do they do? What do they do? What do they do? But no idea. <laughs> I guess it's not relevant yet. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you want to see the next two episodes reaction and discussion, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. Yes. You can get on early access. and also comes with a Discord access where you can chat with us about stories or whatever. And yeah, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.